This was supposed to be my dream vacation, two blissful weeks in sunny Antalya to relax and recharge. I wasn't expecting to meet the love of my life and I certainly wasn't expecting that love to be a 25-year-old Turkish man named Ali. When we met at the hotel pool, there was an instant connection neither of us could deny. The three decades between us seemed to vanish as we talked and laughed for hours. Against all odds, it seemed Ali and I were meant to be together. When he proposed before my trip ended, I threw caution to the wind and accepted. I know people whispered as the old American woman brought home her young foreign husband, but I didn't care. I was giddy with love and possibility. My friends were green with envy when they met Ali. He was handsome, charming, and attentive everything their husbands were not after years of complacency. I couldn't blame them for flirting with him, what woman wouldn't be drawn to this vibrant passionate man? Even I found myself feeling newlywed giddiness I thought was long behind me. For a time, I thought I had everything I ever wanted. Until the day I uncovered the box of lacy lingerie and love letters from Carol, Jessica, Megan and others. My wonderful husband had been cheating on me for who knows how long, using his appeal to seduce my own friends behind my back. I was crushed, but I refused to show Ali how much he hurt me. I simply booked his return flight to Turkey, helped him pack his bags, and drove him to the airport without shedding a tear. Then I met with an attorney and filed for divorce swiftly and decisively. As for my dear friends, I decided turnabout was fair play. I told Mike, David, and Tim exactly how their wives had cavorted with my husband over secret romantic dinners and in cheap motel rooms. Just as my marriage was destroyed by betrayal, so too were theirs. I guess 50-something women can be envious and vindictive too. But at least we won't make fools of ourselves over a gold-digging Casanova again.